Good morning, everybody. It is your host, Root Dog, joining you here on this beautiful spring morning, uh, April 4th, 2021. Um, in the process of letting my uh, seam sealer dry on my MSR tarp and tent, uh, so I thought I'd take this time to get you a first look and review of the Grivel Nepal Ice Axe. and the Black Diamond Distance Z trekking poles. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about them right after the break. Welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful spring day. Um, I wanted to get this review out to you um, pretty quickly because it's the weather is nice. Uh, climbing mountaineering season is in full effect here in the Pacific Northwest um, and summer hiking season is just around the corner so I know a lot of you are looking into um, getting your new gear and especially getting your new hiking sticks. Probably um, one of the most important pieces of kit that you could have uh, as a backpacker. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Black Diamond Distance Z poles for you today. Um, and I'm gonna get right into it. Black Diamond Distance Z. Very, very simple um, trekking pole design here. Just gonna open these up. It's gonna unfold. Grab onto this top part of the shaft and pull down. It'll all click together. You hear the snap right up here at the top, the slide lock, and you are good to go. You are ready to walk. It takes about five seconds. All right, so the distance C, a um, couple things about this. These run about $100 uh, at most stores. I, to be honest with you, I wasn't able to find much of a discount on them. It's about $100, no matter where you're at. Um, next thing to know about this, uh, it is not adjustable. I went with the 130 centimeter poles. I'm six feet tall. I was kind of right on the cusp. <clears throat> I was trying to decide. It was a really hard decision uh, between the 120 and the 130. And uh, I'll get into why I went with the 130 in just a second. Um, one more thing to know about these. Uh, the whole set weighs 14.2 ounces. That's 7.1 ounces per pole. You can barely tell that you're holding them. They're super light. Um, and as a initial review, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Um, for as far as their overall quality and how much I like them. Um, and the only reason I take a point away and give them a nine out of 10 uh, is because they're not adjustable. Um, and I'm just, me personally, I've never thought to myself on the trail, like, fuck, I wish I could adjust my poles right now. I, like I've never had adjustable poles and I've never thought to myself, like, I wish I could adjust my poles. So that's why I just went ahead and went with um, the fixed length pole. Um, they're lighter and there are less components to break. Um, speaking of breaking, uh, I went with the regular distance Z, the aluminum shaft pole, um, even though the, the carbon Z is three ounces lighter, um, because uh, I've read a lot of reviews that the, that the carbon poles snap. And um, since I'm gonna be using these to set up my tent, I'm gonna be pretty dependent. If I have a pole break, I'm gonna be screwed. So I just went ahead and went with the aluminum, even though they are three ounces heavier. Honestly, I don't think I would notice. They're, they're so light. Um, some cool features of this. Uh, it's got the moisture wicking wrist strap here. So that is fully adjustable. You can crank it down on your wrist so you can have a nice firm grip on this. Get nice support without having to wear it out, without having to have a death grip on the actual pole. As far as the grip, um, this just has a regular foam grip. It doesn't have the cork grip um, like um, I believe it's the Alpine model that has the cork grip. Personally, like my hands don't really sweat that much. Um, to that, I didn't feel like I really needed the cork. Maybe if you're a sweatier person, you might want to go with that. I personally didn't see a need. Uh, this foam grip is perfect for me, and I was really happy that it is um, extended with the the ridge here in the middle. So 
On just regular flat ground, you can have your normal grip. If you're coming down off some boulders, you can grab onto the top. You got that extra length. That's another reason I went with the 130. And if you're climbing, you can let your wrist strap out and you can hang onto it down here at the extended part of the, of the uh, handle uh, for better comfort while you're climbing uphill. So honestly, super comfortable poles, very light. You barely even tell that you're hanging onto them. Um, I've only used them on one hike so far. I climbed Mount St. Helens with them and they performed quite well doing that. Um, honestly, couldn't be happier. To put them away, you're just gonna pull up on the slide lock. You hear the click and then start breaking it from the first part of the shaft. You can see the innards here. So that is braided cable that holds it all together that is covered with a uh, vinyl sheath of some sort. Um, that is, we would call it their like cone lock technology that helps everything line up as you um, put it together. Break this last part down here. You can fold it over. The, the basket has cool little notch there that you can snap the pole into and it folds over. Folded length, 14 inches. Um, for tips, it do, they do come with tech tips, uh, replaceable tips, uh, and you can also get a powder basket um, if you're a skier, you wanna put those on there. Once again, about $100, um, pretty much any store you look at, uh, wasn't able to find much discount on them. It is a Black Diamond product. Um, I've, I've owned a lot of Black Diamond products in my life. Uh, never their trekking poles before, but other, like a lot of their climbing gear, and uh, they've never let me down. Black Diamond makes excellent products, and I highly recommend these poles uh, if you're in the market this year. Second part of today, I wanted to talk about the Gravel, Nepal SA Ice Axe, SA standing for self-arrest. This Ice Axe, I um, was able to find this for $75. Uh, it is just a, it's a pretty basic, just standard mountaineering and glacier travel, snow travel Ice Axe. Um, you know, it's not meant for, for ice climbing or anything extreme like that. Thus, it's perfect for the PCT. Uh, it's really all you need. It weighs 15 and a half ounces, so just a little bit less than a pound, and that's everything included with the leash. Comes with the leash uh, and tip protector here. Um, so 15 and a half ounces. Uh, this is the 66 centimeter length. Uh, once again, I am six feet tall even, so I just, I just knew that this, this is the right length for me. I've done quite a bit of mountaineering in my life, so uh, this was the perfect length. Um, one cool feature of this ice axe is it does have the curved shaft uh, to help you to dig in for self-arrest, uh, which is really all you're going to be using this for on the PCT, most likely. Um, and, you know, why would I pick this over, say, a black diamond axe or any other ice axe, any other basic ice axe? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I like the way it looked. That's... Really the reason I went for the Gravel, it, it looks nice and it was the right price. Uh, it's really all you need in an ice axe, weighs less than a pound. Um, it is absolutely perfect for, for carrying on the PCT. All right, uh, for the ice axe, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I mean, there's, it's pretty hard to mess up an ice axe. <laughs> um, and Gravel did a really nice job with this one. Looks good, feels good in the hands and uh, yeah. All right. Uh, well, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, hopefully these reviews are helping you out. Um, if you would, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you out on the trail soon. Have a great day.